Zombie Apocalypse. <lacht> What's up guys, it's Peter's Man here and I am back with another video. Today guys, we are here with the Field of Fear Field Pass in Mad Mode 24. Of course, our second Field Pass in the season so far. And every time we've had a Field Pass since Mad Mode 20, the October Field Pass has been named Field of Fear. So once again, we have got some great players to chase after here in the month of October. Namely, Brian Dawkins, Darrell Revis, Rob Gronkowski, and a few others just in the field pass. And of course, in the promo that we have right now, there are also some very good names. But we are here to talk about the S2 field pass. Now, if you guys are not familiar with the field pass in any sort of way, we are gonna cover everything about the field pass in this video. Of course, how to get the players, how to get points, stuff like that. And also, this is our first field pass that we do have a mythic player being Darrell Revis. So we will talk about the requirements for that as well in this video so first off let's go ahead and go on to the field of fear map so it has that very same logo a very similar logo to s1 except it kind of has that purple and green color to fit more of the most feared or halloween vibe as compared to other months so now let's go ahead and hop right into it so right here of course you are going to have a track of milestones going all the way up to 50 in order to get all the things here inside the vip track as well as the free track. Of course, the VIP track is Fuel Pass only. There is a coach, Zach Taylor, that is only in the premium track for right now, but of course, all the coaches will eventually be released in the game for people to get, even if they did not buy the Fuel Pass just yet. So there is that, and the VIP milestone player for Field of Fear is going to be Darrell Revis, and this right here is going to be very, very important, as you guys will see in a second, that he is in the VIP and not in the free track right here. So let's go ahead and hop on over to the trades and objectives and talk about the mythic really quick. So right here, trades and objectives, of course, uncommon select, do your 72 trade right here, this one right here, your friend all the time, put in the guys that you have, that trade will give you the most rare players, stay patient and stick all your guys in here for these trades. Now the other players in this field of fear field pass are going to be down here. As you guys have probably seen already, there is Darrell Revis, Justin Tucker, Tristan Wirfs, and then I believe in the journey is going to be the Khalil Mack linebacker card. But let's first go to the Field of Fear special trades. These right here are your special players for Field of Fear. So first off, we have the Rob Gronkowski. This one right here is going to be the one you build, basically getting for free throughout the duration of the Field Pass. So right here, there are going to be three collectibles to get. The first one is going to be in the Field Pass Milestones. Go here to the Fuel Pass Milestones. Scroll down to the very, very end right here of the free track. And you guys will see Milestone 48, 24,550 points is the first collectible, which will be the sunglasses to go towards that Rob Gronkowski. Now, next up, there are going to be two more collectibles to get this month for that Rob Gronkowski card. If you guys go over to your albums and click on your name, go to your albums and scroll down to the most feared international promo so basically the most feared international promo and also the next promo will give you those other collectibles that you need so this right here it is basically free to get the second collectible for Ogronkowski. you need to get five of any epic iconic iconic foil mythics inside the promo they have to be unique and of course when more players get added to the field pass or should i say the promo it will be a lot easier to pull the unique players you need to fill this out right here for the promo and to get that second collectible. I assume same thing for the next promo. I'll have an update video on that when that promo drops with how to officially claim the Rob Gronkowski and get all three collectibles. But right now, only two out of three are possible to get. Now let's go back to the trades here for Field of Fear. And there is Brian Dawkins as well as Darrell Revis inside the field pass. Let's now go to the Brian Dawkins. So this right here is like the Dexter Lawrence from the last field pass. This here is your top tier card in the entire game. 157 overall, Brian Dawkins, a Field of Fear Marvel player. So this right here takes six of any iconic from this month. That's either the field pass, most feared international. And as you guys see, our next promo will be called the most feared carnival promo. Basically our official most feared promo, where we will also see 
that last collectible to get Rob Gronkowski. But anyways, all those cards also go into this Brian Dawkins right here. Alongside those six Iconics, you will need to put in an epic Cleo Mack, an epic Tristan Wirfs, and four specific rare players, as well as a Mythic Badge. The Mythic Badge, you got those when you logged in, two for free. And I believe there is also one in the free milestones for the Field Pass as well. So Mythic Badge, not too bad there. When it comes to your rares, just do your random rare packs. Put those guys here in the trade and get that out of the way. If you guys are building the Brian Dawkins and then of course the select epics for those right there. Now, one thing I am doing is considering that it's only plus three overall to foil a player. If you are able to get both of the Khalil Max from the journey that we'll go to in just a second, I would go ahead and put one Khalil Mac on your team and put one Khalil Mac in the trade because basically you are sacrificing only three overall to get an entire extra iconic in this Brian Dawkins trade. It's a great start off to this trade. So you don't have to sacrifice as much off your team because plus three for a foil, honestly not too worth it. So go ahead, slot in your second Cleo Mac right here to get a good head start on Brian Dawkins. If you are chasing after him overall, the stats are pretty cool. Plus one overall boost for a month. Now let's go ahead and move on to the Jarrell Reviews. This right here is going to be kind of bad for free to play. But you guys will see in a second. So in order to get the mythic Darrell Revis 139 overall cornerback, you need to have his foil 133 overall, as well as any iconic from this month from either the field pass or both of the most feared promos. Now the reason that free to play cannot complete this trade for this 139 overall Darrell Revis is because of that foil Darrell Revis. As you guys know, to build a foil, you need to have two Darrell Revis cards to build it. So going over here, okay, iconic players. Well, you can only build Darrell Revis one time inside the trades. There is no random iconic trade or anything like that. So the only way to get the second Darrell Revis is of course, you guys guessed it, inside the field pass, inside of the VIP track on the 50th milestone. So basically to get that mythic, you are forced to buy the field pass if you really wanted it. So that alone is kind of a shame that you have to buy the field pass in order to complete that trade at all. So the best Darrell Revis that a free to play player can get will be a 130 overall base Darrell Revis because of the fact that you can only get him once in the trades, no random iconic trade, nothing like that. And the other one is in the VIP. So we move past that, move past all the trades and these packs right here, I may talk about these in a separate video. Are they good to do now? Because honestly, compare this first team of the week and based on where you are in the game, these trades could have potential value for you if you are chasing the Field of Fear player. So honestly, if you guys want to grind out Field of Fear, if you're free to play and you're trying to get the Marvel, definitely use your rares and your uncommons and your epics on these packs because it's going to help you in Field of Fear. If you use those guys on Team of the Week, obviously, it's going to hinder some of your progress here for Field of Fear. And I know Brian Dawkins is a very popular card. So if you are chasing him, Try to use this fuel pass to your advantage so you don't have to sacrifice a lot of those promo players from most feared international and most feared carnival. Now through with all that, when it comes down to Khalil Mack in the field of fear journey, you guys know how it works. Play through all the events based on your overall. There's Madden Cash in here. There's two Khalil Macks. The first one is right here at 3,633 overall. And the second Khalil Mack is 3,885 overall to foil him. Or of course, like I said, put one on your team and put one in Brian Dawkins. Now, if you're not going for Brian Dawkins, of course, go ahead and foil that Khalil Mack. Doesn't really hurt an overall. It's gonna help your team out. And the 10,000 Madden cast is all the way over here at 4,250 overall. And you would also get a mythic badge if you did reach this one down here. So overall, that is the field pass journey. I actually didn't mention how to get points for those who are new, but basically, if you don't know already, it's only daily goals. Do your daily goals every day, get your fuel pass points right here for the milestones, all your usual stuff, go here to Field of Fear, do as much of these as you can every single day, they reset daily. This is the only way to progress in the fuel pass, unless you buy milestones with Madden Cash. So yeah guys, that is Field of Fear, hope you guys did enjoy, if you did, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.